Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so a bunch of people have asked me in messages and comments and stuff about this this little guy, the uh, the Viper 30 here, which is my, my obviously practice amp. Um, but it's, it's really, it's a good amp. I mean, you could uh, you could do small gigs and band rehearsals and stuff, and I have uh, definitely done band rehearsals with it before. And uh, it, it gets pretty loud. I mean, loud, loud enough for a small club, not really loud enough if you have a super heavy drummer. So, uh, or if you're playing really, really uh, aggressive, heavy stuff, maybe not got enough punch to it, but you could just go up to uh, one of the higher wattage models. Anyway, so I thought what I'd do today is show you uh, a few of the settings that I have online and uh, how they sound. So, first one I have here is, I've got the little Sam Parrot foot switch down here. Uh, the first one I have set up is a, is a clean model. It's, uh, it's their Fender Twin, and it's set up with the pre is all the way up. Uh, the low is at about one o'clock. Mid is, is basically at noon, and the high is at about one o'clock ish. Uh, and then I'm using their uh, built-in compressor thing uh, with some delay and reverb to give it a pretty clean sound. So, anyway, that sounds something like this. firm believer in that if you can't play clean on your bridge pickup then the clean tone is just not very warm and full like it should be. Um, so this to me sounds good on all my pickup settings. So if I put it in the neck pick, uh, position it's nice and full. position and get a little uh, twangier, kind of gretchy sound. I mean also because of the compressor I can use the single coil sounds and it doesn't lose uh, a tremendous amount of volume, so on the bridge pickup single coil. So yeah, that's uh, that's the twin model which I use is, uh, and I, I sort of set the presets up on this foot switch the same way that I would set up the presets on my, my big rig. Um, so then we go to the next one here. Uh, this is a rectifier model, uh, or they, they call it the rec, um, on the green channel, I think. Yeah, the green channel. Uh, with the gain about halfway, uh, the lows at about 130, the mids at about 1130, and the treble at about one. And uh, that gives you this kind of thing. It's kind of a, a crunchy, Thing. It's not super gainy, but it, there's definitely some crunch. Uh, one of the things that I like about this is that I can uh, roll the volume back on it and it get a pretty decent kind of uh, well rolled back volume sound. It's different than a clean sound. Do your ACDC thing. Also does uh, the single coil stuff pretty nicely. If you want to do uh, bluesy bits. And then the 
middle. <laughs> Telly sounding, uh, and then in the, in the bridge position again sounds good too. So that's a cool sound. Um, number three here, which is what I, you know, pretty much play on most of the time, uh, is the heavy rock rhythm sound again. It's the rectifier. This time it's on the red setting. Um, and the, the tone controls are in basically the same place. The gain is at about 11.30, because the red channel here has a lot more gain. So, anyway, it sounds like this. It's real thick and juicy. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Mark IV sound that I use live. So, anyway, it sounds like this. <laughs> not so distorted that you can't hear the big chords. You can get good harmonics at a low string. Which is important for me. Um, but yeah, and then, you know, that's really what I play on most of the time when I'm practicing is this sort of heavy riff sound. And then this last one I've got here, uh, number four, is again the rectifier setting. This time I got the gain cranked all the way up and uh, the mids a little bit higher than they were in the last setting. and again with some reverb and delay and this is just kind of a nice singing boogie lead type sound which i always have gravitated towards as far as leads go i just really like the, the sound of boogies uh when they're cranked up like that so anyway here's that uh starting with the bridge pickup <laughs> Sounds good. The next pickup too, it gets really thick and juicy. put it on the single coil setting on the neck and it has this really cool sort of dynamic give to it. It's a little bit different than the humbucker neck but it's still enough that you can play pretty quick shreddy type stuff. <laughs> extra feature that uh, I had a little trouble getting it to work just right at first I had to adjust the pedal a little bit but um, there's a wah pedal built into the sand pair here so I'll click that on and play some lead with it got to apply a little pressure here there we go so here's here's the sand pair wah <laughs>
uh, that's the uh, the San Pera Wah thing, which I think sounds pretty decent. It's not as good, um, you know, as the actual real thing. But uh, it's a bunch less crap that I have to carry around, and it's powered by the amp, so that's pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, so there's some, some basic tones out of this amp, which I think sounds really good. And uh, the best part of it is that it's super cheap. Uh, I think this was, when I got it new a few years ago, I think it was $200 or something, um, like shipped to me. So if you're looking for a, a decent sounding practice amp with a couple of, you know, foot switchable effects and stuff like that, I mean, this just sounds killer. So uh, check it out, and uh, I'll catch you next time.